So you're opening the box for your brand new Samsung Galaxy Tab A and are immediately greeted with the tablet itself in a nice sleeve. After that, you will find your USB-C cable and a power brick. Well, first off, you thank Samsung for the USB-C port and after that, you take the tablet out of the sleeve. And there you go, your first experience with your new Samsung Galaxy Tab A. But is it a good experience? Let's find out. Well, let's first start off with the design and features of the Samsung Galaxy Tab A. So the Galaxy Tab A is actually built pretty well if you ask me. It's completely made out of aluminium and glass and it feels very sturdy in the hand. It really feels like it can take a beating. Now going over everything you find on the outside of the tablet. Now at the bottom you will find your USB-C port and two speakers which can go pretty loud. On the right side you'll find your SD card slot, volume rockers and a power button. And then they immediately arrive at the first design flaw of the Galaxy Tab A and that's that it's sometimes very hard to distinguish which button you're pressing. So I want to change the sound and I turn the thing off. It's really annoying. But continuing on, on the top you'll find your headphone jack and a mic. And then at the back you'll find a camera. And then at the front a little selfie camera for those video calls or the actual selfies. Who knows? Now the tablet is basically made out of an aluminium slab on the back and then a glass front panel and all in all it feels very sturdy. It's light, it's comfortable to hold, it feels like it can really take a beating and I really actually appreciate that. It really not only looks nice, it also feels nice and actually quite premium for some reason. So yeah, props to Samsung for that. So now you know everything about the outside of the tablet, but what is it actually like to use? So now, what is it like to actually use a tablet? Pretty good, actually. Now, I'm the guy who gets pretty easily annoyed when things are not so fast and when it takes a long time to load things. So I will be very nitpicky, but I was so surprised at how good this thing is. It, it really is good. Now, for basic work, maybe typing Word documents or basic email checking or some web browsing, it really does fine. It flies through all of that in a breeze. And that really already surprised me. I thought that I would at least see some lag here and there, some things freezing up, but I really couldn't find any. I was trying to find where it would basically leave me hanging, but I couldn't find it. I was just surprised every single time. Every time I picked this thing up, I was surprised at how good this thing actually was. Now, people who like to game on the tablet, now, on the website we bought it from, it definitely said that gaming was not recommended. So I was like, well, let's try it then. Maybe I'll find something there where you will see that this is not the most powerful tablet in the world. But I couldn't. The only game I really tried to play on this thing, even when I tried to search for more graphically intensive games, they ran fine. And I could not see any stutter, lag, or whatever. They really seemed to run, <laughs> actually just like they were intended to. I could not really find anything that I could nitpick about or something like that. It really handled those games very, very well and I was actually completely surprised by that. Now we arrived at the spot where I think this tablet really shines. Media consumption. The display looks great, even though it's just a 1080p display. And the speakers are really good. They're loud, but the only thing that I would say is missing is stereo speakers. It would turn this tablet into the ultimate low-cost media consumption device. Furthermore, it handles media consumption completely fine without any trouble, no lag whatsoever. And with its good battery life, your Netflix binge watch will feel like it can go on forever. So yeah, I feel like we just discussed its optimal use case, but if you actually want to do some actual work on this thing, you know, like for example professional drawing or graphically intensive things, yeah, I think that this is an obvious question that you should look somewhere else because just because it runs all the other things fine doesn't mean that it's actually a powerful tablet, which it is not, by the way. Now, the Samsung Galaxy Tab A offers a lot of value for its price. I bought it at just 166 euros. And since the tablet is going to be used by my mom, who only wants it for media consumption and some basic email checking and social media use, it really carries a great value. Is it the perfect tablet? Surely not, but for a 166 euro price, it's really good. So do I recommend this tablet? Definitely yes. Now, when my mom wanted to buy a tablet, I insisted on her not buying a cheap tablet. And with a cheap tablet, I mean like underneath like the 300 euro range, simply because 
I always felt they were bad, they were laggy, but times have really changed and this thing actually opened up my eyes that cheaper things in the tech world can actually be very, very good. So yeah, thank you Samsung for that experience. But all in all, Samsung put together a very well made piece of technology if you ask me, a very well made tablet. Build quality is great, usage is great, unless you do very intensive things, I think that's where it will start to stutter. I mean, yeah, I really enjoy actually using this thing. And if you ask me, it's an awesome tablet for media consumption because of the, well, good enough display and speakers that are also pretty good. Like I said, it's an awesome tablet if you ask me, especially for like younger kids or older people who just want to do some basic work and some basic games like maybe, uh, you know, Candy Crush, something like that. This thing will do just fine. Now, that was it for this video. Now, if this video helped you out, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.